And there was an urgency to get a solution because in this particular case, the owner of the building had asked it, had, had engaged us to provide services. They were looking to actually sell the property. Potential buyer brought in a, an expert engineering firm to assess the building to see if the building was, was par with, uh, with com competitive buildings in the area and if the building was up to codes and standards. Uh, what brought the uh, issues, potential issues with the sprinkler system to the owner's attention was the, poten the potential buyer's engineering firm had assessed the existing sprinkler system to be uh, either have been designed improperly or installed improperly or both. The other engineering firm that did the initial investigation proposed what I would call a traditional solution, which is replace the existing system. Uh, but that's, that's not very creative. Uh, we, uh, we've used tests in our previous work, and we thought this might make a good case study of uh, the application of a test that is simply in a building with a, a slightly different roof height than what we, uh, what we had with the existing approvals. So we thought, we, we thought there was a fairly good chance this would work. What we're about to see is a full-scale test of a traditional test commodity. 29-foot high storage, double row racks in a full-size warehouse. We're going to let the client know that we had a successful test. Uh, the, the sprinkler actually performed better than we expected. Um, now there's a couple steps that we still have to go through that are formalities. We need to let the local building official know, local fire official know that we had a successful test. There's a formal process that we have to go through, uh, variance process with a, with a local jurisdiction. Um, but once we go through that process, uh, we're going to be able to help them design this, uh, and install this sprinkler into their building and have a code compliant building um, that, that we know and that they will know will function as it needs to for the type of storage that they're going to want to use. Well, we determined that a complete replacement wasn't necessary. In fact, a large amount of the savings are realized by reusing, uh, to a great extent, the existing piping system. One of the things I liked most about implementing this solution was it's going to give us documented evidence that the solution that we suggest to the billing department and to the client is something that works. There, oftentimes, we're dealing with theoretical problems that we have to solve. In this case, uh, we had the opportunity, and, and really the necessity in this case, to do an actual full-scale test to prove that a sprinkler would, would do what we needed it to do, and what the client needed it to do, and what the local jurisdiction expects it to do. And we were able to, to document that and, and feel very comfortable with the results, and, and the results were, were fantastic. Well, we view this as a as a win-win. Number one, it's it's all about solving problems that are challenging. Uh, I think folks like us thrive on uh, coming up with solutions that are not necessarily readily apparent to the average uh, consulting engineer. And then we have a happy client at the at the end of this, uh, also, and uh, it, it just feels good.